CYFD has also come under fire for dropping the ball in Omari's case. Today, for the first time, the CYFD secretary finally spoke on camera about the case and defended her department. I think that at any time when you're involved with uh, a family and changes in circumstances throughout many years, there is likelihood to be inconsistencies in the way that uh, different individuals deal with circumstances. Dinas told us there was no indication that Omari needed to be removed from his home when CYFD workers checked on the boy. She says CYFD is restricted by state laws and tries to keep families together. Civil rights groups have called on Dinas to step down, but she has no plans to. But the bottom line is, until the governor says I'm not doing the job she wants me to do, I'm here and I'll fight the good fight and I'll keep working to keep kids safe. Dinas says CYFD is reviewing Omari's case. She also says the agency is always updating policies to improve how it handles child abuse cases.